Is it just me or do you find this time of the year in a primary school really funny? Because it's the time of year where staff lists for next academic year are being discussed and announced and there is more anticipation in the staff room for it than when Gareth announces the Euro squad. It's hilarious, I love it, and don't get me wrong, some schools don't care and they announce the staff list for next academic year way back in, say, October. There are other schools that just never change anything, but I know there are some schools that just love to turn it into a proper sort of TV drama, and I'm here for that. Because straight away, you definitely had a conversation with your teacher BFF that goes along the lines of Joey and Rachel in Friends. Do you know something? Do you know something? <laughs> I might know something. I might know something too. The discussion of who's going where has dominated the staff room for weeks and there's always that one member of staff who's convinced they have the inside scoop because they carpool with a member of SLT and they do a full-blown presentation in front of the whole staff room like Jamie Carragher on Monday Night Football. Yeah, of course, this person's going to go there because they've already worked there with that person there. Despite having the tactic boards out and convincing everyone they know, they never ever get it right. Then comes the the actual staff meeting where the staff list will be announced to every member of staff and it everyone's on tent hooks it honestly should be presented that staff meeting by Dermot O'Leary along the X Factor style vibes I know for a fact there are some head teachers that just like to up the drama and so sort of cut to a commercial break in a staff meeting before they announce who's going where or they take the any other business from the usual end of staff meeting and put it at the beginning to prolong the drama even more. It really is like having your own eviction night on Big Brother or recoupling night on Love Island. Everyone's sitting on the edge of the seat waiting to hear what's going to happen. A whole range of emotions are seen. There's always tears as year group partners who love each other are torn apart. TAs are having to be recoupled with other teachers. And it's not all doom and gloom because there is that moment of ecstasy if you find out you're not moving year groups and therefore you can actually have a summer break. You're not having to spend every day in school moving everything to your new classroom and redoing all your flipping displays. Oh, that is a moment. That is a teaching moment that is so so full of joy. I mean, I just love the teachers who refuse to move classrooms, refuse to leave and do that speech like the Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving. <laughs> then there's always a shock. There's always a big shock. It may well be a member of staff that you didn't have any idea was looking at another job is moving on. And they've kept it so quiet it comes as a, everyone's just up in arms. How did I not know? I mean, there are other staff members that make it blatantly clear they're leaving. They've already organised the leaving due for months in advance. But then there are some who keep it so stumped, you are almost offended that you didn't know. And if it's not a case of someone leaving, there's always a stalwart, a member of staff who has worked in one year group for years, who is suddenly thrown across the other side of the school. And that gets people talking. Right, I'm going to try this and it's not going to be easy. <laughs> And finally, I always feel sorry for the teacher who ends up moving up with the same class. I mean, it's always put across like it's a compliment. You know, this class has settled so well with you. We just feel you can continue to build and grow with them. No, it's the fact that this is the one teacher who's not quit in the past five years with the class. They've got the most challenging class and they've just about managed to make it to the end of the year in one piece. And how are they rewarded with having to then be in class each day during the summer, moving classrooms again? Wounded. I do feel sorry for him. <laughs>